before I do a DJ gig, I usually start seven hours before. I want to know what the makeup of the party is, what the, what's, what's the psychographic of, of the people coming. And then I have to figure out the formula, like, because I'm a guy that matches BPMs and the songs have to be in the same key. And I know a lot of people think like, oh, you're just overthinking it. But no, like, I, I like to tell a story when I do my three hour DJ sets. I just, I love learning about music and stuff. Like the first year that we came out, I totally freaked out Q-Tip and, you know, just questions that nobody should be asking. Like, okay, on the fourth bar of Electric Relaxations, when the, uh, the modulation happens, I think, was that a mistake or did you purposely da 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 And he's like, leave me alone, kid, you're bothering me. And actually this ties into why I decided to teach music at NYU. Here I am, this self-refressed, like, musical nerd that is all-knowing. You know, what's the sense in having 70,000 records or all this useless information about music if you don't even teach it? My whole goal was just to teach them how to absorb music and how to listen. Probably the greatest class of all was Off the Wall by Michael Jackson. Okay, who raised a show of hands? Who loves this record already? And less than half of them did it. They kind of saw this caricature figure mired in so much controversy. In the last 15 minutes, I played them all six takes of She's Out of My Life. That's the song where he starts sobbing at the end. So I kind of explained the backstory. This was like his first heartbreak. By the time you get to take four, I just took all the music away and you just heard, I mean, it was so clear, like you could hear the snot in his nose. Like you could hear him struggling and apologizing. It was such a heartbreaking moment and it, it made him human in their eyes. So all of a sudden, they didn't see a caricature of Michael Jackson. They just saw a human being, a flesh and blood human being. We grew up in this idea of the canon and told that, okay, this artist named Picasso, he's the greatest. And you just believe it. And this, the Beatles, they're the greatest. And you believe it. And Scorsese, he's the greatest. And you believe it. But I need people to come to that conclusion themselves, not just because an adult told me. That to me is the important part of being a music snob. The real payoff is when you can transfer it to someone else and then they get to see what's great about it. Hopefully it spreads. I'm Questlove and I'm a music snob.